So, going on from uh, the explore your local wilderness or your local hidden leafy spots a bit. Well, this is me in my hammock. Um, it's a double D travel hammock. It's got a built-in mosquito net, but I don't really think I need that. It's not like I'm going to go to sleep. This is just a sitting around chilling out thing. And uh, it took me only a couple of minutes to find the ideal spot. And it is cherry. For, for my bushcrafting needs, I have found the spot I'm going to film in. I found the spot I might well come and wild camp in, do a couple of nights. Um, let me show you around my new non-home. So this is the Double D Scout hammock. And uh, much as I think that they, you know, it's a little bit too, shall we say, glamping for me traditionally. They do some good stuff, but I've always felt that their stuff could be uh, a bit be capable of blending in a bit more. And they've never really done a good DPM camouflage pattern. All their camouflage patterns seem to stick out, which is kind of an odd thing. Um, I don't understand because they, they don't wild camp as uh, me and the people I know wild camp. We camp in very stealthy places. We get out of there got all our stuff. But let me show you around. This is just another episode of Ranger Law. This short episode shot on the action cam, stuff that I think you might find interesting. The reason I like it so much here. So, let's go into scene mode. You can't see it, but down there is a, a little tiny tributary of the uh, local river, which uh, I know a lot of you people wouldn't be happy about that. There's all sorts of things in it. But, you know, if you're prepared to boil all your water, that's good enough for a cup of tea. You're prepared to filter it through a fine mesh, then that's fine. You know, you're still going to be okay. There's probably going to be, there might well be some heavy metal deposits. That's if you're not using a um, water filtration system. And all around me, this area has been recently cleared. I don't know who by, but it's a while ago. And there's some great, deadwood and sawn off stuff here that you can make an excellent campfire with. The water's, the ground's never going to get so dry that you could accidentally start a wildfire because you're right next to the river. Your only problem really is going to be mosquitoes. Lots of new growth, lots of old growth trees, mostly deciduous. Look like a, it'd be a fun place to camp. You can't be seen from the nearby path, which is way up there. It's about 200 meters that way. And I only discovered it because I was walking along, I was trying one of those paths that we haven't seen. You know, those little footpaths that you think, I wonder what that, that goes down. And that was a little side footpath that leads from uh, where I was shooting some rambly footage um, with a different camera. And it comes, it just, it comes all the way back up to my house. We're less than 10 minutes from my home, which is great. So, you know, get out there and explore. Put a hammock up, make a brew. Um, if I'd known that this was here, I'm quite tempted to actually uh, terraform this a little bit and uh, just uh, you know see what I can do with the place. I mean, I'm certainly not going to leave my hammock or anything here, but I know that my hammock fits between these two trees. I could clear the, all the firewood from underneath the trees. I could store it or stack it, you know, cut it down to length so it's there when I want it. If I come camping in the winter, you know, just on a spur of the moment thing. Um, yeah, so I'm really pleased. Um, I don't know how interesting this is for you, but what I would like to see is um, if you've got the time and you've got your phone with you, I don't care about the quality of the footage, um, go and find somewhere similar. Wouldn't that be cool? I mean, I'm not telling you exactly where this is, um, and I don't want to know exactly where these spots are. I just want to know what you see as an important place to go while camping, you know, somewhere real close to you. So if you needed to sort of like, you know, just get out of town for, a, you know, just get out of the house for, a, for an evening or something like that, or you want to show someone some bushcrafting skills, where would you take them that wasn't far from home? Because as we all know, there's a lot of people that might be interested in bushcrafting, but when you take them actually out into the field and you show them the, the, uh, the lack of luxury that they're going to have to deal with, a lot of the times they want to go home or they don't want to stay the night or they're quite happy to come out for an afternoon. And places like this, you know, that are very close in relation to where you live, are just brilliant. So yeah, I think this might be my new second home. I wonder how much of a camp you could build before someone came in and tore it down. 
you know, this might be the ideal place to build a lean-to shelter that you're going to do a few days work on. You know, there's certainly enough greenery and vegetation all the way around here that you could camouflage it quite effectively. And unless you know about that path that I came down, and, you know, there's a, there's a very good chance that the only people that use that are dog walkers. So I'm wondering if I went down there, maybe a bit closer to the river, whether you'd even see me at all from the ridge. But we'll do some experiments on that another time. This has been uh, another episode of Ranger's Law. Just quick snippets of video that, you know, I'm not actually that keen on, ed uh, you know, editing because it doesn't really say anything important. This is just a thing that I do. This isn't teaching you anything, really. It's just interesting. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'm going to start doing this because I don't think people do like the video. But, you know, if, if you see any sort of... If you see anything on here on the channel that you like, please like it. It takes you less than a second and it makes all the difference to YouTube algorithms and it means other people can find it, which would be very handy. This is V signing off. I hope you enjoyed this and take care.